My WordPress site is stuck in maintenance mode. What do I do? The first thing is, don't panic. This problem is quite easy to solve, and in this article, I'm going to walk you through the steps to solve it. But first, what is WordPress maintenance mode? WordPress maintenance mode is part of the WordPress automatic updating system. Every time you update your version of WordPress or any of the plugins you have installed on your WordPress site, WordPress briefly activates the WordPress maintenance mode. Usually it happens so quickly that you don't even notice it. At most, you'll just see a message like this. So why does WordPress get stuck in maintenance mode? There are a number of possible reasons why WordPress gets stuck in maintenance mode. If you have a lot of plugins that are all updating one after the other, a timeout may occur, and this can cause WordPress to get stuck in maintenance mode. Another possible cause is attempting to update plugins that are not compatible with the version of WordPress that you have installed. Or vice versa, installing a version of WordPress that is not compatible with one or other of your plugins. Yet another possible cause is closing your browser while WordPress is doing a software update. How to fix WordPress maintenance mode? Whatever the cause, there's a simple fix. Whenever WordPress updates its own software or a plugin that you have installed, it creates a maintenance file in the root directory of your WordPress installation. Normally, WordPress will remove that file as soon as the update is complete. But sometimes, for one reason or another, WordPress is unable to remove the maintenance file. And that's when your WordPress site gets stuck in maintenance mode. So what you need to do is manually remove the maintenance file. The easiest way to do this is via the FTP client in your cPanel. You can access this by clicking on File Manager in your cPanel. On the next screen, choose the root directory and make sure to check the box that says Show Hidden Files. Next, simply scroll down the directory until you find the maintenance file. Then just right click and choose Delete. Now refresh your browser, and that's it. You've removed maintenance mode from your WordPress site and you're free to carry on as normal. When WordPress creates the maintenance file, it also logs the time the file was created. WordPress allows 10 minutes for the update to be completed, and it then automatically deletes the maintenance file. So nine times out of 10, if you just wait 10 minutes, the maintenance file will be deleted and you'll be back to normal. If you're not comfortable going into the root directory and deleting a file, you can always get a WordPress expert to do it for you. I often hire WordPress experts to fix technical problems on WordPress and it usually costs as little as $10 or $15. Here's how to do it. Create an account on Fiverr if you don't already have one. Log in to your Fiverr account and type Fix WordPress in the search box. Under Refine Results, click Bug Fixes. You'll see there are 191 sellers on Fiverr offering this service. On the next screen, you'll see all the Fiverr sellers who fix WordPress bugs. Look for a seller who has a 5-star rating and at least 100 reviews. In the top right corner, there's a box where you can sort the results by relevance and best-selling. To avoid getting your website stuck in maintenance mode, try to ensure that your plugins and themes are compatible. To do this, go to Plugins and then Install Plugins and click on Details for any given plugin. A small window will open up containing basic information about that plugin. It will tell you up to what version of WordPress the plugin is compatible with. 
To find out what version of WordPress you are currently running, just scroll down to the foot of your dashboard and you'll see the version of WordPress in the far right corner. In conclusion, when WordPress gets stuck in maintenance mode, it's easy to panic. But don't, there's no need to. Just follow the steps I've described in this video and you'll be back to normal in no time. And if you're not confident using FTP to delete a file in your root directory, just hire an expert on Fiber to do it for you.